you this? You had the guts to bring him back into my own house. Daddy, I didn't bring him in here. I don't even know who he is. You don't know him. And he gave you a gift. And you accepted it. He followed me here, Daddy. There was no way I could have stopped him. Are we teaching the truth in love? Darling, what is happening here? This is just the beginning. Judith, what happened? Mommy, I really don't know what I've done to Daddy to deserve this kind of treatment. I don't. But what happened? What went wrong? It's barely three hours I left this house. He is accusing me of bringing men into the house. Why? Because a certain man followed me to the house to give me a gift. That's all. A strange man just walked into this house uninvited? He didn't walk in. He stayed at the gate and gave the gate man the gift on my behalf. That was when daddy drove in. Yes, honey. So what did you expect? You were still standing with a stranger and collecting gifts from him. But I wasn't doing anything with him. Oh, you should have been doing something with him. Get off my way. So one day I'll give this out for you people. Not for stupid strength. She's beautiful, she's lovely. She takes your breath away. The way she walks and the way she talks, she makes everybody go hey. Your models are quite nice. Um, 
but I'm afraid there's none that fits into what we want. I, uh, I, I don't understand. You mean there is no contract? There will be part. Look. Take a good look at the pictures of the models you sent. The girls are too old. The models have not the poise, the, the, the charisma. Oh, the uh, Philip, Philip, please, please. Don't talk to me about poise and courage and charm. I've worked too hard for this. I, I, need, I need this contract. I want this contract, Philip. I put my best at the girls. Come on. But, you know what? For this particular job, Best is with the wrong people. The role I have, Philip. Try and understand. Philip, try to understand the role I have. Look, you understand what I'm trying to say. You know this job as well as I do. Look, Pat. Look for new models. Or better still, maybe you can work on on this once and see. Maybe you can turn them around in no time to pick up the next contract. For this one job. I'm sorry, they just want to. Thank you. They have no vision, no taste. All they talk about is charisma, poise, courage. What do they know when it comes to advertisement and modeling? Maybe they already have their own people on the job, you know? That's it. That's it. Why didn't I think of that? No modeling agency can compete with us. Exactly. No model places the cover of any product that might have no hand in it. That's how come I did not get the job. What is ours will never pass us, okay? Nigeria for you. It's very sad. You should just come off it. Judith. 
Where are you coming from at this time of the night? It is just 8 o'clock. Answer my question. I went to see my friend and um, she's in my school. I see. Good, good evening, sir. Don't believe him. So, you mean you kept my daughter up to this time in your house? Even if she didn't have the brains to want to go home? Sir, it was just uh, 8 o'clock. Um, I, I didn't know I it was see. that late, sir. I see. So your parents allow you to stay out this late and it means nothing to them? That is even if you live with them? Just shut up! Now listen. If your parents do not teach you anything concerning discipline and responsibility, that is their business. But as for me as a father, I will teach my daughter son. Listen to this. The fact that the schools are on strike is not enough for you to be gallivant all about her. From today, wherever you are going, the driver must take you. That is my instruction. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes, Daddy. Now you out of my house before I.
over and over and over again? How many times do you want us to do it? Number one! She's lovely, she takes your breath away. The way do she right, looks and the way she right. talks, she makes everybody go hey. Go back, go back. Everybody's saying yeah. Now, now tell me, girls, what is the problem? What exactly is the problem? How are we going to make it to the spotlight when you guys can't even get in touch with your charisma, charm, and talent? How? How? We're doing our best. You, you come, but you just did your best. You think that will take you out? Stella, please. Show these amateurs how to walk. Please. She's beautiful, she's lovely, she takes your breath away. Hey. Ooh, ooh, that girl is an African queen. Everybody say you. Yeah. That girl is an African queen. Everybody say now. Thank you. Did you see that? And that's how it should be done. That called professional touch with charisma. Stella will always remain the best. And until you can smoke up, I'm afraid there will be no jobs. That's it for today. Everybody say yeah. The girl is an African Everybody say now. All the time, Stella this, Stella that. Everything must be Stella, as if she's a goddess. What respect? After all, they've been sleeping together, and the man dances to her too. What's their business? Oh? All I know is that we are all doing. If at all the man can give us half the chance he gives to, he gives to Stella, we will do better than her. Abby. That woman rapper. That woman rapper. There's nothing he knows about from, about from Stella. Oh, let's go up there. Let's just go. Hey, jealousy. Jealousy. Hey, jealousy. The root of evil. Hey, jealousy. Jealousy. Hey, you're hey, Thank you. Thank you. So tell me, what's been I'm going so just, What's been going on? My dear, I am so tired. <laughs> the traffic in Lagos is so terrible. <laughs> well, you know how it is now. Jumping from one bus to another, taxi to another. I'm tired though. You're lucky, Oika. You know how it is now. I'm jumping from one bus to another, taxi to another. Very soon I'll get my own car. Okay. I had this this um. Baby, because I'm the law. <laughs> <laughs> okay, talking about you're not a doubt anymore. Let me show you something, okay? Just wait, yeah, bring it. Just bring it, bring it. Just wait. Just wait. You see this? These are sounds of jobs and spotlights. Okay. This is better suited for six figure jobs, if not me. <laughs> so you're lucky, you true. You're lucky. <laughs> Stella, yes, I beg you. Eh? You have to help me. I'm your friend. You have to help me. Eh? All I need from Patrick is just a single job. Just one, though. Eh? I don't mind even if it's a coffee now. <laughs> or maybe biscuit for children. <laughs> eh? Why are you laughing now? Eh? <laughs> Stop laughing. Oh, you make me laugh. Eh, but let me be the model. Let me be that model. Eh? Let my face be your product. That's okay. Have you forgotten your friend? Oh, this is me, Stella. Remember, uh, you've been a loyal friend, and you will be duly rewarded. Okay, uh, yes, Stella, baby. <laughs> I trust you. Oh, oh hello, hey. darling. Hi, hi, how are you? Mm -hmm. How are you? Hey, Kate, how are you? I'm okay. So, what's been happening? Listen up, girl. Pack your You have a first class ticket to Abuja. For what? 
You know the African heads of state, Samiko and presently in Abuja? Yes. Mm -hmm. It will end tomorrow with the night party of the Shara. Okay. You and a certain TV personality will co-host the reception. <gasps> no! <laughs> see, see. The... Here is the ticket. Oh, God. Oh my god! I need to ask a favor though. Look, anything, girl? Anything. Can I please bring Katie along? You know she's my trusted friend. Please. Please. Um, well, okay. Fantastic! <laughs> We're going to Abuja! Yeah, <laughs> baby! <laughs> Thank you, sir. Um, Thank you. Yeah, exactly. Hey, go you on. start with this. Mm-hmm. Mm. Correct. <laughs> ah. I'm so excited. Go away. <laughs> And Lisa, let's go inside. I want to talk to you. Thank you, but I would like to be left alone. And look, I know you're upset about the way my father treated you, but I'm here to apologize, okay? That was the last time I was there, because I will never come with you again. And would be like to be left alone. I do not want to be further insulted by a father who sees his daughter as a princess, while other people's daughters are trash. My parents love and respect me, and I'm very, very contented with that. It's not like I that. Think it's Come on. I said I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's the way my heart. Judith. Judith. I do not want this relationship anymore, okay? <laughs> Why are you acting like this all of a sudden? What's wrong? If anything happens tomorrow, so that your father will not come and bring in embarrassing questions and insults on my parents and myself, please, I'll be glad to be left alone. If you don't mind, just go, okay? I have bad things doing now. Okay, please. She means who your father kill us for coming to see you. Oh. I see my dear friend Anne has been filling you in. So because of Anne's experience with my dad, you two have refused to come and visit. Is that it? Maybe Priska will come and see me. As for me, me, no way. I don't want anybody to insult me by telling me to insult me. I'm okay the way I am. Let's go.
You said nothing and you're crying. Come on, my dear, talk to your mother. You know I love you so much. I can't go on like this. I can't take this anymore. I'm going to leave this house. With daddy's behavior, I'm leaving this house. Don't talk like that about your father. You know he's a straight disciplinarian. And we just have to understand what that. What am I understanding from you? Understand what? That he's chasing my friends away with his insulting, hostile attitude. I'm not understanding anything. I'm going to leave this place. I'm going back to school. Strike on no strike. I'll leave in school. Mm. You know you can't do a thing like that. Look, my dear. This whole thing is just for a little while. Huh? Your school will reopen. Very soon you're going to graduate, get married, and you have your own independence. Huh? My birthday is around the corner. I was hoping on having a party. Which friends do I invite to the party? That is, if I have any party at all, if daddy allows me. He loves you. Huh? He will change with time. He doesn't act like he loves me. He does, my dear. He does, okay? Long life and plenty properties. <laughs> <laughs> Darling. Yes, my dear. I want to tell you something. Yes, what is it? Do you know how old our daughter is now? No, come on. What are you driving at? Go straight to the point. I know you have forgotten. She is 21. So? I'm trying to say that a girl at 21 is no longer a child, but a young woman, old enough to be a mother. Oh, oh, come on, stop pampering this girl. We should have respect for our traditional and family values. Oh. <laughs> family values. Family values is all about getting a child to know what he or she is worth, what he or she can achieve, and the honor given to the people in the same family with her. Good. And that's the kind of socialization I want to give to our daughter. Oh, by chasing her friends away and tearing her social life apart and having her friends refer to her own father as a monster. Beg your pardon? What did you just say? Oh, yes. Our family has been tagged Monster Incorporated because of your attitude towards the daughter's friends. You see, that shows the kind of friends our daughter has. They have no respect for elders. Don't see you respect for elders. Honey, our daughters are not. Don't you think you're being overprotective and unnecessarily authoritative? Well, if I want my daughter to be the way I want her to be, you know, is termed being overprotective and authoritative, I'll tell you this. Let them say anything. The Bible says, train up a child the way he should go. And when he grows up, he will not depart from it. Oh, very good. Same Bible says, parents, do not provoke your children. Well, God forbid. There is no way I will watch my daughter get impregnated outside of her. No way. My daughter is not like that. Meanwhile, her birthday comes up this weekend. And she wants a party with all her friends in this house. And I've told her she can have it. Oh! Great, go ahead. Since you don't have the power to ask her to organize parties in my own house, <laughs> you are now in charge of the house. Yes. Go ahead. Yes, I'm planning the party Problem. for her. And she must have it. It is her birthday for Christ's sake. All right. Oh. We 
shots. TV and magazines every day. <laughs> this modeling job, mm. it's one hell of a job. It takes up all my time. I barely I have time imagine. for anything else. <laughs> I can imagine. I can imagine. But at least you're making money. How much is the money with our currency that is so devalued as it is? <laughs> by the time you buy this, buy that, money's gone. Mm. My dear, it's better than being idle. Look at me. I'm just roasting myself. What's up? How's your mom? Oh, I heard you put a new car. Congratulations. Oh, <laughs> that one's old news now. Oh, yeah. Looking good. I'm going fast, shall I? I'm going to sit in this house waiting for the results. What about your mom? My mom can't go to the village. And your dad? Jesus. Welcome. You're right in time for dinner. Oh, dinner. Yeah, yummy. Do you let me help? Oh, yeah. Sure, okay. <laughs> wow, it's good to see you again. Wow, good to see you. Yes, Stella, unless I forget, my birthday. Unfortunately, I had to be in Potaka that day for sure. You seem to be a very pleased person. <laughs> yes, I am, jeez. <laughs> so, what are you getting married? Well, Uncle, we'll believe God for the right time and the right man. But until then, I'm just going to concentrate on my work. I see. What about Stanis? Are you in the university now? Well, no, but I'm working on it. What work is that? What are the degree? Is it this modern stuff? You're not getting younger. You must be married someday. Well, I think I enjoy what I'm doing. I'm even getting lots of offers from movie production houses to star in their movies. Now, really? That's nice. Nonsense. You see, uh, your father would have liked it. He wouldn't. Because he would believe that modern is for wayward people, prostitutes. Uh, it's not decent people who pose naked before uh, television or the pages of newspapers and magazines. Oh, yes. Come on. She enjoys what she's doing, besides, it pays her bills. You shut up! That is not all about money, 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 money. She's got to be married someday. I made my decision years ago, and I think I'm enjoying it. Life is about being happy with what you choose to do with your years. Not about impressing other people who don't have the power to stop death when it's time for one to die. Besides, 
My late father is not here anymore to support me, is he? You sit there! She is my niece, but she's not the kind of girl I like to see you with. I repeat, it is not for this, it is for prostitutes.
Did anybody come? Oh my God. I don't think your father distributed the cat like he said. What do you mean? I saw them in his room. It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. There'll be other birthdays. Why? Why would Daddy do this to me? How could Daddy do this to me? It's all right. It's okay, my dear. You have other birthdays, please. It's okay. Why does Daddy hate me this much? Oh, honey, no. He doesn't hate you. He doesn't hate you, okay? It's to be no, no. I'm sure he forgot.
Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yes, yeah, so, ladies and gentlemen, you've seen them. And observations. You've seen them all. And observations. Judith anywhere. Judith, is she not in her room? I've searched everywhere. She's nowhere to be found. You must be joking. Well, let's find out from security mother. John! John! Come here! Where is Judith? I've not seen her this morning, sir. How do you mean you've not seen her this morning? Yes, sir. I've been on the gate there. I've not set my eyes on her. Are you sure of what you're saying? Yes, sir. Then you must have deserted your duty post. No, sir. How could you be there and she left the gate and you didn't see her? Are you implying that she disappeared from the house? Uh, something like that, sir. You are a devil. It's you that will disappear. How can you say that my daughter disappeared from the house? You left your duty post and you say my daughter disappeared? Done. You must be out of your mind. Now get out of this place. Yes, sir. If I don't see my daughter, you'll be in trouble. Nonsense. Uh, by the way, so that uh, it's okay, okay? Uh, I'm sure she'll be back. I hope she comes back. Of course she will come back. second day now and Judith is not back. Something must be wrong. You caused it. You know you caused it. You chased her out of this house. You go and look for her for me. But is it wrong to collect one's daughter when she does wrong? Huh? Oh. You call all that harassment correction? Is that how to correct your child? Go and look for her for me. Now John is not back. We don't even know what happened. See, call, call, the, call your sister. Maybe she's there. Call, call your sister. She okay. might be there. Okay. Yes. I've been everywhere. I could not find her. Where, where did you go to? Your brother is in Ikoi. She's not there. They say they are still abroad. And you came back here? John, then I go and look for her. Do you understand? If you can't find her, don't come back to this house. Nonsense. Don't get out. Make the call, make the call. Oh God! God, it's not going. Then try again. Try again. Try again. Go look, look Oh God. Try again or go out. Go and look for her. Go and look for her. When you were harassing her, beating her, calling her names. Look at it now. Oh 
Where do you think you are going? Where are you going? <laughs> You're now happy, eh? You're now happy. The whole world will now clap and praise you for, for chas successfully chasing your daughter out of your house. You see, from the way you're talking, I'm beginning to think that it's a conspiracy between you and my daughter. Mm. <laughs> Is it because I'll be very calm about it? Oh. Mind. When I'm ready, you will tell me where my daughter is. Oh, you're still waiting for the time to come. You're still waiting for when you're ready. Or sit down over a bottle of wine. Why your daughter is out there trying to make sure she does not see eye to eye with you anymore. Wicked man. Judith will pay for this. She will pay for this act of indiscipline. I keep wondering where she got this silly behavior from. My sisters are not like this. It's not in our family. Oh, indiscipline is in my own family. She's not indisciplined, eh? It's a pity. I will find her. Oh, yes. I will locate her wherever she is. It's just about of time. Yes, find her. Find her! The earlier you find her, the better for both of us. Good day. Darling, how was your interview? Bad. Bad? Very bad. How come? They said, um, although the show was a good success, mm -hmm. a lot could have been done to turn the models towards giving life to the products on display. And it was either a rookie show of amateurism or an elaborate display of professionalism based on the model's catwalk and charisma. Do you have to bother yourself with these fashion and model critics? Honey, this should have been a top billing that will project the company of model to the top. I've seen it all the time. Outside you, they all lack charisma and courage. But no matter how good you are, these critics will always put you down. That's what they are, critics. That's also what makes us special. I'll never make it beyond the shores of the city. Not to talk about getting the modeling outfit to the international limelight if I do not find a natural. But now we can build an ology and an anagoti. Hey! What are you talking about? What about me? I'm no longer good enough? Hey, 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 come on. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. I'm telling you, no exception. You're not just saying that. Hey, hey hell no. Uh, you get the contracts to keep the company going on. I mean, I'm crazy about you. You are? Mm-hmm. I was just thinking about it. You know, the company has to move forward. Lovely. No good morning. Where are you coming from this morning? What happened last night? Why did you come back home? I went to the television crew that covered the event to grant a documentary interview. Documentary interview? That took the whole night? Oh God. The show ended very early this morning, around 5 a.m. 
You, you don't believe me? I don't believe you. You want me to call the TV station? Really. So that one of your friends will pick up the phone and cover up for you as usual. Patrick, I am not a fool. Shola, what's your problem? How come every time you keep suspecting of having affairs with my models? Are you going to deny it? Look, this is purely business to me. And I swear to you, I can never have anything to do with them. Don't tell that to I said I swear to me. you. I'm an honorable man. Ever since we got married, I've been faithful. To hell with whatever lies they tell you out there. This is me, Pat, your husband. Should you talk to me as if I don't know you? Do you know the problem with smart people? They think others are fools. And no one can be as smart as they are. But don't worry. Time will tell. No, surely I'm listening up. I may have lied to you in the past, but not anymore. I love you, and I have total regard for Hassan. You left me in this big house all alone. I I am sorry. The show ended very early this morning, okay? And I have to go for the interview. And I'm sorry, I know I should have called, okay? But I invited you. I expect you to leave our son to attend the show. It's my fault. I should have called after the show, you know, before the interview. I'm sorry. It's too early in the morning to call. I'm very, very happy. Just fix myself. Okay. Go get the clothes up. Fix your breakfast. you after the show. I went to visit a friend of mine. Have mm. you eaten? Uh, yes. I prepared rice and stew. Okay. Very good. Judith, I need to ask you some questions. Mm. What about school? Uh, school is not open till say about three weeks. So when do you intend to go home? I don't know. Not until my father changes his attitude, though. So what about your mother in all this? Well, if I have to consider my mom alone, I'll go home, but she's helpless when my dad is concerned. There's little or nothing she can do. Except you're tired of having me around, you know, I'll, I'll go home. Of course not. Don't be silly. You know you're welcome to stay here anytime you want. Thank you. Good day, everybody. Good day, sir. I really want to congratulate all of you. On the dedication as regards the last concluded event. Thank you all. But we must all improve. We can do better. But I don't know why we lack all the initiatives. Why? The problem is that most of them don't exercise or even rehearse at home. Look, a lot has to be done because there's a lot of money to be made and we are lagging behind. I want some natural fear, originality, and much more commitment on your part. Sometimes they don't even concentrate. They are unnecessarily under pressure and they don't concentrate. Anyway, there is a job coming up soon in Abuja. All shows are needed at the State House towards hosting her residence in the first lady of the Federation. The people have picked to handle the job are Susan and Linda. Well, that's the end of the meeting. I'll see you all in two days' time. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I'm not much, apart from a shadow visit to advertising companies. Hmm, okay. 
Okay, and you know, regarding that state house job, I don't want Susan and Nina to handle it. I would choose other girls. Why? Who do they think they are? I want to show them that they are under my feet. <laughs> Can't you forgive them for whatever they've done? No, I won't. I will choose other girls. Okay, darling? Okay. Your Excellency. Good. Now run along and make some money and bring it home to me. Okay? <laughs> okay, um. Go on, go on, go on. Uh, no, the car key is got to job we were picked for. You know it has been cancelled. What? And we're dropped other girls picked. Who told you that? I saw it on the notice board and I asked Patrick. He told me it was last minute decision. Last minute decision This is Stella's handwork. Stella again? Ha! Do you know I saw her discussing with Patrick the other day? That woman rapper. Okay, now I come to think of it. What have I done to that stupid girl? I will show her. In fact, I am going to play with her. I don't even care about the job anymore. Do you know I don't even know who is funny in this show? Whether it is Patrick or Stella. Mm. I'm really fed up, oh. I'm really fed up. It's okay. So Stella thinks she is too smart. Huh? I'm going to tell her who is smarter. I'm just you. This is My dear, oh, how are you? Have you heard from her? Huh? Okay, she has not called. Oh my god. You mean there's no information about her? You don't know where she might be or? Uh, oh god. I'm sorry, ma, I don't know where she is. Hey. At this call was in session, I'm sure she would have come to register. So she's not back. Hey. You mean there's no information from anywhere? You don't know? I mean, you should know some of her friends that I don't know. You know what? My dear, please. I'm paying you to find her, please. I want you to just give me a call. I won't mention your name, please. You, you can't, you please. can't do this. I can't claim money from you. If I know she's my I've told you. You know I've told you. What? I've told you where she is. I've told you, ma'am. She's the only one I have. My only child. I don't even know where she is or where to start the search. And she used to tell me everything. But this time around, she didn't tell me anything. She just left. Please, my dear, please help me find her, please. Ma, the one thing I know is that Judith is fine wherever she is. She is very fine. Maybe she doesn't want to be found. You know Judith the way she behaves sometimes. You are sure you don't know where she is? Oh my god, oh my god, please, please my dear, please find her for me now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I give me a hug, hey, 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 
Did you order for anything? Mm. The drinks I ordered ages ago. <laughs> this is the time of bringing them. Some room service, huh? Some room <laughs> service. <laughs> mm, excuse me, honey. Oh, you're very excused. I'll be right back. I'll be here waiting. Uh huh. <laughs> <sighs> about this? Patrick, so all what I've been hearing is true. Patrick, why are you doing this to me? And you? set you up. What am I even saying? I know who set you up. Of course I know who set me up. It was that Patrick's wife. And I told the fool to make sure that he's not followed, eh? Stella, wait. Ah, Just you, eh? Smell, eh? You are wrong. It is not his wife. It is Susan that sets you up. What? What are you saying? My dear, I overheard her telling her friends. She was even directing the whole drama on how Patrick went out of the hotel, neck and all that. Really? Yes! She even said she was there. Girls are jealous. What is even her own, eh? What is her problem? What is her problem? Susan. Stella, you better be careful. True. You have to be careful because I smell more danger coming if you're not careful. Susan. Susan. Let's go inside. They have open. Let's go. Let's go. Stella, let us go. Hey. 
Sila. Happened. She was knocked down by a hit and run driver. what I want. We're not getting anywhere. You're not giving me what I want. The company that needs us to model their outfit. It's an international company based in France. What I am seeing in all of you is not enough to convince them that the company name and outfit are safe with us. If I don't get what I want here, I'll look elsewhere. Is that understood? Is that understood? Yes. I 
what you guys cats walk. And then I went out to check my meals. Okay. Hmm. Well, you see, it's not actually easy to catwalk, you know, especially when there's a big event like this coming up. Everybody has to be shocked. I don't think catwalk is that difficult. I mean, I can do it. Really? My dear, you can say that as a spectator. Everyone assures that. Until they try it and see how difficult it is, dear. It's not that easy. Okay. It's not that difficult either. Okay, watch me do it. Okay. By all means. She's beautiful, she's lovely, she takes your breath away The way she walks and the way she talks, she makes everybody go hey For grace our products nationwide. <laughs> Good. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but you know what my fear is? I really don't know if she looks um, the same way she looks, you know, on the photo, if she looks real. Oh, of course she does. I, you have my word on that. She's a natural beauty, makeup or no makeup. In fact, she's in my car outside. 
in your car, mm -hmm. doing what? <laughs> Look here, go bring her here. And don't you know that her face, I mean, she's the new face of our products nationwide. Why? Easy. Come on. Easy. Bring her. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, this is. Right. Yes. She's beautiful, she's lovely, she takes your brain away. Philip, she wants in the way she This is good. She makes good. Philip, assistant brand manager, Allmax Cosmetics. That girl is an African But this is the best. Oh, she's so lovely. Oh, can you sit down? Sit down, sit down. Man! I'm quite impressed with you this time around. Oh, yeah. Miss <laughs> oh, yeah. Judith. Is that right? It's our pleasure to have you on that product. She's beautiful. She's lovely. And I love it. Oh, yes, you did. You did. And you know what? We're going to make your face a household one. Just as your age, you can make our products a household name. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, what are we waiting for? Uh, Pat, why don't you go somewhere and, and have lunch? Well, um, no problem. Uh, no, uh, call the shuttle for the suit, eh? Let me do it. I'll meet you in the car. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Boy! Uh, Everybody say yeah. She's beautiful, she's lovely, she takes your breath away. The way she talks, the way she talks, she makes everybody okay. I got the job. What job? Okay, well, Patrick took me to, to this uh, new company somewhere in VI. Okay. And um, he just wanted to see if they would like me, and guess what? They loved me! Of course they did. They immediately signed me up for a two million naira contract to be the face of the world! Two million naira? Yes! Don't tell me it's for Hallmark. Yes, how did you guess? Oh, of course it's for Hallmark! Isn't that exciting? Oh my goodness! Very huh? soon, I'm going to be on billboards and magazines and what have you. <laughs> oh! I'm so surprised! Yes! Congratulations, darling! Thank you! Oh! You're beautiful for the first time, right? Yeah. Oh, you did. Confidence, your carriage, your poses. But you know me as a supermodel. I'll You're going to shoot through. Me. Oh, yeah, I'll put you through. Cool. Your this is I, so much fun. You did. <laughs> You're full of surprises, you know. <laughs> Thank you. But don't worry, both of us will now be supermodels, super cousins. Yeah. <laughs> so excited. Yes. Jealousy, 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 Jealousy is the root of evil. Jealousy, jealousy, jealousy. What have we just done with my cousin? There is no need to get my step. After all, she's a sister. I don't care if she's my mother. You know how hard I've been working on that contract. Working out, placing myself on a strenuous diet. I mean, what's all that? Look, 
the contract is all about originality and naturalness. Plastic surgery can't work it. Oh, don't mock me. You know how hard I've worked on that contract. You promised me. You gave me your word. You promised. Look, there was nothing I could have done about it for you, Stella. I mean, take a very good look at the handwriting on the wall. The girl is gifted. She has beauty and charisma. That's bullshit. That's reality, my dear. She has it all. Now, this company has to move forward towards reclaiming its rightful position as number one in the modeling industry of this country. I need to do I am queen here. Always have been and will forever be. Beauty for all ladies. I thought I was close. Only for a nobody to come and stumble over it. At least she should be happy in the family. Family. Hey, family. What family? Family of someone that wants to now start buying me clothes. Good day. Patrick, what are you doing here? You never come here. Well, um, things do change. It's Judith around. Judith? Hey, Patrick, what's up? Hey, Patrick! Hey, aren't you dressed yet? Dressed? Dressed for what? Oh, the... Sorry, I forgot to tell you. Um, Hallmark Cosmetics is having a dinner for their counterparts that came in from the stage. We, we're almost out of time. Your chauffeur driven bent is outside waiting for you if you will, but hurry. Okay, okay. Come on. Okay. Hey, 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 I'll wait for you outside, okay? Good day, Stella. Patrick! Kate! She even gets a five-star treatment. There's something going on and I don't like it one bit. Calm down. Just calm down.
can get me a driver. But I just have the driver because, you know, I don't want to get carried around stuff in like one mother. Really? Yeah. A brand new car? Just like that? Just like that? Wow! Do you want to go for a ride? A car um, move? Um, maybe not today because I'm kind of busy. Maybe some other time. Okay, fine. Let's just um, I'm ready to buy them. Yes. I'm going to show you a smaller car. Look alike. Morning! Morning! Yes, darling. Come, 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 come and see your daughter. Come and see your daughter. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, this is beautiful. What is it? What? This is. Come see. This is beautiful. My own daughter, Motley? It's impossible. Me, a whole chief, Festus Odimba, a retired army colonel. My daughter can't be Motley. I see. From the way you're talking, it shows you've always known what she does and where she is. Just leave me out of this. How can I leave you out of it? How can I? So I should have left her to go like that? But Mom, what are you talking about? Huh? Model is not for decent people. It is for prostitutes. The fact that she's a model does not make her a prostitute. Come on. Where is the... Where are my niece? Where is she? Anyway, you know what? Before I come back from my journey, I want my daughter back. Understand? Do you understand? Okay. company that came last week? Yes. She's going to do some communication work. The girl is going places just like that. Lovely take show she wants and the way she talks she might go ahead the Important, huh? Come on. 
Sorry for the interruption, Judith. Come, let's continue. Come. No, I'm not going on to hear what she has to tell you want me to... We're way behind deadline. I don't care. Whatever she has to say won't take forever. Uh, okay, okay. What is it? So now you won't even give me attention unless Judith says so? Let, let's not waste time discussing such trivial issues, okay? Just go straight to the point. I'm not a trivial issue that is not worth your attention. Patrick! Stella, if there is something you want to ask, I believe this is the time to do so. Please leave me to continue with me, please, okay? You're finished! Do you hear it? Do you hear it? You're finished! This is the end, it's over for you! Stella! Judy! Judy! Jealousy! Jealousy! Stella! Jealousy! You know you're it's really so taking this too hard upon yourself! Huh? Cheer up! Hmm? Cheer up! What will be will definitely be! Cheer up! Yes. Cheer up, you said? Of course. Judith walks in and takes away everything I have. My money, my fame, and my world. I should have been the one on all those billboards and adverts. I should be the one with the five-star treatment and attention. But no, no. Judith, an insignificant novice whose parents don't even allow her step outside walks in and kicks my career to the curb. You still will get your shot at film one day. You still have the looks and courage. You used to be the best, remember? Did you just hear yourself? Yes. I used to. Until Judith happened. Oh, God. Why did I even take her in the first place? Why? Girlfriend, you did what every other big cousin could have done. She shares the same blood with you. She's your family, you oh, know. Oh, to hell with family. Stella. Her father denied my late father the opportunity to go to school. My father died a broken man. While hers basked in the euphoria of the wealth her grandfather left behind. Now they have sent Judy to come and destroy me. My God. Stella. You don't have to cry or breathe meaning to all this. It's a war, Kate. Don't you understand? An age-long family battle. I left my guard down. I should have known. Nah, come on. It's the truth. The last time I went visiting, her father insulted and embarrassed me. He called me a dropout, a prostitute, and a loser. I had to walk out of there in shame. Now they sent this <laughs> to work on the final nail in my coffin. Stella, please, you don't have to get negatively logical about this. Okay? Okay? You're still the best. Okay? Why don't you smile? Hmm? Please. What's there to smile about? Because it's going to be okay. I know that. Hmm? There's something I have to tell you. What? I'll be leaving town. Why? I'll be going to Joss. You know this modeling thing is not really getting on well with me. Hmm? I have this uncle that stays in Joss. He manages a four-star hotel. He wants me to come over and take charge of the restaurant and the kitchen since I studied catering. Hey, Kate, I'm going to miss you. And I'm going to miss you too, darling. I'm going to miss you too. It's all for good. I promise I'll call you. you. Promise? I will. I'll call you. And you take care of yourself. You will. Promise me that. <laughs> Yeah.
Because I'm not going anywhere till tomorrow. I don't okay. care if you're not going anywhere until next year. This is my parking space and therefore only meant for my car. Next time you want to park and I'm not here, you stay outside until I get back. Do you understand? Now go and move it. I said go and move it and you're still staring at me. I'm sorry, I'll, I'll move it. Yeah, do that. that goes to check if the tap is on or off. I didn't mean it like that. I honestly didn't know the tap was on. Though, positive I turned it off. off. Oh, Are you sure? so you're now calling me a liar? You want to call me a liar in my own house? Judith, take your time. Just take your time in this house. I have been a supermodel before you and I will not tolerate any of this trash again. This had better not happen again, okay? In jealousy, jealousy, in jealousy, it's the root of evil. In jealousy, jealousy, in jealousy, it's the root of evil. I mean, I don't know what I've done to deserve such malicious treatment from her. We used to be very, very close. I mean, we used to actually love each other, but now. Every little thing I do annoys her. My mere presence irritates her. Why did you back out of her house? Get a place of your own. I can't do that. My parents have a house. Besides, it's not like I'm actually thinking of modeling as a career. Judith, it doesn't matter. You need your privacy, your freedom, and your respect. I'll soon be back in school anyways. Besides, what will people say when they hear I live alone? I'm still very young and it's not like I'm married. You know, um, in the Western world and in Europe, the young people from the age of 18 live alone. That is in the Western world. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, tell you what. Why don't I check into a nice hotel for now? You know, just to stay away from her until I'm all cleansed up. Just temporarily. Okay. It's not like I have a choice. Let <sighs> whatever is eating her up is up a bit at least. Exactly. Because I don't want to be fighting or getting physical. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. You mean your money? Uh, hey, <laughs> we're talking business. Let me be that way in the next What for? Just in case you pack some of my things. Open it after I have packed. So why would I want to take any of your things? Ah, then let me see. Kleptomania has no age barrier, you know. So now you're calling me a thief?
Manager, don't, don't tell me you didn't hear about right. I, I, I'm confused here. I mean, they took that shot. That's not the issue. How can a hotel of such a caliber have such a nice city with the security of our customers? How? This is the first time anything like this is happening here. I can assure you, management will compensate you. Nonsense. Look, I want the culprit caught. I want whosoever that was responsible for this human act found. What if she had been raped? I'm calling the police into this matter, no, please. please. you shouldn't get to that. We'll run a thorough investigation over this and the copies will surely be caught and they will freeze the music. Spare me! Spare me! Look, Judith, Judith, don't worry. Everything will be alright, okay? You'll be alright. I'm checking you out of this hotel as soon as possible. Actually, please, you shouldn't get to that. I, I can assure you, we'll beef up security. We have a reputation to protect here. I and you can stay as long as you want. You can stay for free, surely. And I'm promising you, those guys will surely catch them and they will surely face the music. Just like I told you, we'll take care of everything. We'll compensate you. You, you can stay. You, you can stay as long as you want. No, who, who is it? What is it you want now? What is it? What do you want? Sorry, sir. But I think I know what I'm Jealousy, 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 it's the root of evil. Jealousy, 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 it's the root of evil.
No, no. Well, I haven't seen them. Uh, I'll let you have them as soon as they catch me. Yeah, you can be rest assured. All right. Okay. Bye bye. Hi, Philip. You sent for me. Patrick, what is going on? I mean, what sort of rubbish are you, are you playing at? <laughs> Look, do you realize the image of my company and my job is at stake? <laughs> what are you talking about? What am I talking about? Look, I'm talking about the prostitute you brought to Rose as a, as a, as a symbol of a new product. I beg your pardon for me. What's all this about? What, what are you talking about? There! That is what I am talking about. I got those pictures earlier today. Anyway, Patrick, from this moment, consider the contract terminated. You hear from our lawyers as we intend to press charges and sue you for damages. Philip, Philip, don't, don't be too hasty in the decision, okay? We can work this out, okay? What, what out? It, it, this could be a setup. Look, don't, don't worry, I'll. Uh, we, we can work something out. Listen, Patrick. Please. I have made my point clear. Please excuse me. I was in the middle of the call when you came in. Please. Philip, Philip, look. I, I know Judith. This could be a setup. Look. Let, let me get down to the root of this. I, 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 let me get back Patrick, to you. I have made my point clear. You cannot tell me. Please excuse me. Please. Uh, I Philip. have important things to do. Uh, Philip, Philip, you're my friend. We are friends, okay? We are friends. We can help each other here, okay? Look, every problem has a solution. Let, let, let's just think. Let's not be hasty about this thing. Look, uh, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get to the root of this, okay? Okay, just, just Patrick. don't forget the contract, okay? I, Patrick. That's my life. Patrick, I have made my point. Please excuse me. That's... Uh, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll... Let me get back to you, okay? Just let me get back to you, okay? Give me some time. Give me some time. It's not the end of the world. Anyway, first thing first. You have to keep your strength up. You have to do something. I'm hungry. Jesus Christ, why would anybody plan such evil against me? What have I done? I just knew it. I knew. When I found out those men, they raped me or robbed me, that they were up to something. Thank you for on this issue. Okay. It's it's already very late now. I've got to go home. Let me order some food on the way out. Not hungry. Okay, at least take some coffee and some bread. Right? Don't worry, it's going to be alright. Huh? Don't worry, okay? I'll see you first thing tomorrow morning. Yeah. Discuss it tomorrow when we see, okay? Okay? But I'm ordering some coffee and some bread. 
promise me anything. Hey, promise? That's my girl. I want you to keep the strength up. Okay? So, it's all right. Cheer up. Say the first thing to me, okay?
want a, a hot bath or cold? Yes, I don't mind a hot bath, but that will be much later. Alright. Oh, that reminds me. You have a parcel. I'll get it. Uh. Oh, the journey must have been very hectic. Uh. Yeah. Were you able to branch out to your brother's place? Mm. Yes, I just tried. Now, this can't be true. What? Judith, it? start making with a man. Mm. My God. Brothers. No. No. No, it's okay. <laughs> I don't to them. Yes, hello? Yes, yes, yes. My God! My... This is not true. This is not true. What is happening to us? Stella, calm down. Everything will be all right in Jesus' name. How can everything be all right when she's in the mortuary? She's not dead yet. You're just saying that. You're just saying that to console and confuse me. I can take the bad news. Judy, why does she have to die? And I brought her to this job. I'm the one that should die! No, pull yourself together, Stella. Pull yourself together. Let's keep faith in prayers. The doctors are walking around the clock. Well, 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 my pretty. How the mighty have fallen in the midst of battle. So you survived the poisoning, eh? I'm a supermodel. I'm a supermodel. Supermodel? Took away everything I ever worked for. Well, you know what they say. If you want something done, you do it yourself. Sweet dreams. Well, 
Hey! Who are you? And how did you get in here? Stella. Stella. Do you know her? Oh my God, she's my niece. She deserves to die! You drop it or I shoot you. Drop it! She deserves to die! I said you should drop it. She took away everything I ever worked for! Drop it or I shoot you. I said you should drop it! Everything I ever wanted!